harin ta'addanci a Pakistan ya hallaka yan sanda goma sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka zai ziyarci Gabas ta tsakiya kan rikicin Gaza kungiyar hadin kan kasashen Afirka ta bukaci shugaban Senegal ya gaggauta gudanar da zaben shugaban kasa sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Antony Blinken zai sake kai ziyara Gabas ta tsakiya a litinin din nan a gogaran kasassa na ganin an cin moto sabore jeje ne tsage tauta tsakanin Isra'ila da Hamas a zirin Gaza tare da sako fursunonin da ake garkuwa da su kamfanin dalancin labaran Faransa AP ya rato cewa Mr Blinken zai fara ya da zango ne a Saudi Arabia sannan yaje Isra'ila sai masar sannan kuma Qatar rikicin Gaza ne na ci gaba da kamari inda ko ajiyar Lahadi maikatan lafiyar Hamas ke cewa harin dakarin Isra'ila yayi sarjiyar mutuwar Palestina wa 127 in zaka dai fiye da rabin al'ummar Gaza sun cin kushe a mashigin Rafa dake da iyaka da Masar dan tserewa rikicin wani harin ta'addanci da asbahin litinin din nan a Pakistan ya hallaka yan sandan kasar Goma tare da jikka ta wasu shida bayan da maharan suka kutsa kai cikin ofishin yan sanda a yankin Raban na arewacin kasar wani jami'in dan sandan kasar mai suna Malik Anius Hassan biya sheda wa kamfanin dillancin labarai na Reuters cewa maharan masu yawan gaske sun fara amfani da bindigogi ne sannan daga bisani suka rinka jefa gurneti da hannu kan jami'an nasu harin da yana zuwa ne kwanaki kadan gabanin gudanar da babban zaben kasar ko a cikin watan disambar bara wani harin kunar bakin waki yayi sanjiyar mutuwar sojojin Pakistan a 23 adadin mutanen da gobarar daji ta halaka a kasar Chile ya kai 112 har ma shugaban kasar Gabriel Boric ke gargadin cewa adadin ka iya karuwa haka lakari da yadda wutar ke ci gaba da ruruwa ko da yake jami'an agaji na ci gaba da aikin cetan wadanda iftilaen ya afkawa kamfanin dillancin labaran Faransa AP ya rato ma'aikatar harkokin cikin gida ta kasar na cewa baya ga da mutane 112 da aka tabbatar da mutuwar su a jela hadi har yanzu tar na ci a wurare 40 na kasar inda ta kone gidaje 114 kuma ana ci gabar kokarin kashi ta ta dai shugaba Gabriel Boric ya ayyana zaman makoki na kwanaki biyu a fadin kasar daga litinin din nan zuwa gobe talata dan jimamin abin da ya faru wanda shine iftilai mafi muni da kasar ta gani tun bayan annobar tsunami da ta halaka mutane 500 a shekarar 2010 labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na DW Kungiyar hadin kan kasashen Afirka AU ta nemi kasar Senegal ta gaggauta gudanar da babban zaben shugaban kasar bayan da shugaba Maki Sall ya dakatar da zabe da aka shirya gudanarwa a rana 25 ga wanda na Fabrairu wannan na cikin wata sanarwa da shugaban kungiyar Musa Faki Muhammad ya fitar jiya Lahadi kamar yadda kamfanin dillancin labaran Faransa AAP ya rawaito yana mai bukatar ganin an gudanar da zaben cikin gaskiya da adalci a litinin din nan ce dai yan majalisar dokokin Senegal za su yi muhawara kan ko za a yi gudanar da zaben a rana 25 ga watan Agusta mai zuwa zanga zanga da kuma arangama da jami'an tsaro a kasar tun barke bayan da shugaba Maki Sall ya sanar da dage zaben sakamakon cikumar da ta dabaibayi tsarin fitar da yan takara kungiyar kwadago ta kasar Jamus Verdi ta sanar da cewa wani rukuni na ma'aikatan kamfanin sufurin jiragen sama na Lufthansa za su sanda mayajin aiki a ranar Laraba mai zuwa domin neman karin albashi kamfanin dillancin labarai na Reuters ya rubuto cewa yajin aikin direbobin Discover dake zama reshe ga Lufthansa zai fara ne da karfe 4 na asuba a gogon Jamus karfe 2 na daren a gogon GMT matuka jiragen sama na kamfanin Lufthansa na neman abullo da tsarin albashi da ka'idoji kan ayyukan jirgi da kuma lokutan hutu yajin aikin dai zai shafi biranen Frankfurt da Munich da Hamburg da Berlin da kuma Düsseldorf tun makon da ya gabata ne dai kasar Jamus ke fuskantar yaji a jin aiki har da hana direbobin jiragen kasa na kamfanin jiragen kasa na Deutsche Bahn karshen labaran duniyar kenan DW Harukokin yau. Tuma da lacin harukokin namu ne kai tsaye zamu tafi Senegal inda yan adawar kasar suka zargi shugaba Maki Sall da yankurin yi wa demokradiya karantsi bayan dage zaben da aka shirya a wannan wata na Fabrairu 
a daidai lokacin da yan adawa suka gudanar da zanga zanga don nuna bacin ransu ita ma kungiyar ECOWAS ta nuna damuwa kan matakin tare da umartar shugaba Maki Sal da ya sanar da sabuwar ranar da za a gudanar da zaben ga Abdurrahim Hassan da karin bayani Shugaba Maki Sal ya danganta matakin dage zaben ne da cece ku ce kan soke wasu yan takara bisa zargin cin hanci da rashawa amma yan adawar siyasa a kasar na zargin da walakin anta Babakar Ngom yar takarar shugaban kasa ji a jam'iyyar Alternative for Citizen Succession a Senegal Voici le bilan du président Macky Sall Wannan shine lissafi ma'auni na shugaba Macky Sall kuma abun takai ce ne da ya tayar da hankali sosai amma yanzu abun takai cin yana nuna ainihin halin sa ne na zahiri wannan juyin mulki ne kuma ba za mu amince da shi ba Shugaba Macky Sall dai wanda baya neman wani wa'adin mulki ya ce ya rataba nu kan wata doka da ta soke dokar da ta kira tarun hukumar zabi a daidai lokacin da ake shirin fara yakin neman zabin kasar matakin da Khalifa Sal wanda shi ma ake takarar shugaban kasa a inuwar gamayyar jam'iyyun siyasar kasar mai suna Tazuhu yana ganin shugaba Maki Sal na shirin yiwa kasar Angulu da kan Zabo jamais dans l'histoire politique du Senegal nous n'avons connu une pareille situation ba taba ganin irin wannan yanayi ba tarihin siyasar Senegal wannan lamari ne mai hatsarin gaske samun damar dage zaben shugaban kasa a jajiberen ranar fara zabe ba a taba ganin irin sa ba reporter une election presidentielle a la veille de son démarrage musufa a jawabin da ya gabatar na soke ranar fara zaben a Senegal shugaba Sall ya kare matakin gwamnatin sa da cewa yunkuri ne na kauce ta kaddamar sahihancin zabe bayan gano wasu yan takara 20 na da passport na wasu kasashen waje to sai dai matakin shugaban na rashin bayyana sabon ranar gudanar da zabe na da sa'ada tambaya kan abin da shugaban ke nufi har ma Tierno Alassan Sall dan takarar shugaban kasa jam'iyyar da Republic of Valus na cewa duk girman gona to akwai kunyar karshe force de défense et de sécurité à partir du moment où la constitution jami'an tsaro ku sani tun daga lokacin da kundin tsarin mulkin kasar ya kafa ku ku yi biyayya to ku sani cewa daga lokacin da kundin tsarin mulkin kasar Senegal ya ce wa'adin mulkin shugaban kasar ya kare a ranar biyu ga watan Afrilin 2024 to daga ranar biyu ga Afrilin 2024 din ba za ku saki yi masa biyayya ba le 2 avril vous ne lui devez plus obéissance ita ma dai ana ta bangaren kungiyar ECOWAS mai kokarin dinke barka da demokradiya ke fuskanta yi macin nahiyar Afrika tai Allah wadai da dage zaben na Senegal a daidai lokacin da aske yazo gaban goshi to ga da Ibrahim Hassan daga Senegal kuma sai tare ya Najeriya da jahar Kano akai zaben cike guraben yan majalisun dokoki guda uku kuma har yanzu dai da sauraron aka ba domin zaben dai bai kai ga kammala ba idan dai za a yi tunawa a joyi sama da 20 aka gudanar da zaben a ranar Asabar domin cike guraben wasu yan majalisu da suka samu makamai a kunshin ministoci da kuma wasu zabuka da ko dai rikici ko rashin kayan aiki yasa aka sube soke zaben ya zama wanda bai kammala ba Nasir Salas zango na dauke da cigaban wannan rahoto daga Kano Zabuka ne da aka gabatar da su a sassan kasar daban-daban da suka hada da jahar Lagos inda aka cike gurbin tsowan kakakin majalisar wakilan kasar Femi Bajabiya Mila wanda shugaba ce nan buye na kasha matsayin shugaban ma'aikatan fadar shugaban kasa sai kuma tsohon gwamnatin jahar Ibonyi dake kudin maso gabashin kasar wanda shi ma sanata ne amma na din da shugabatin bai masa matsayin minista ya samar da gibin da dole aka cike shi sauran jihohin sun hada da jahar Yobe da Ondo da Kebbi da Plato da kuma jahar Kano da sauran su duk da cewar mafi akasarin wuraren da akai zaben an yi an kammala lafiya amma har yanzu akwai sauraron na a kaba a wasu wuraren inda aka sake ayyana zabukan su a matsayin wanda bai kammala ba a jahar Kano inda aka cike guraben yan majalisu uku a kananan hukumomi shida an kammala zaben yan majalisu biyu an kuma ayyana jam'iyyar yan NPP mai mulki a matsayin wata talashe zaben sai dai a karamar hukumar kunshi wacce aka sauya wa suna zuwa gari an samu rikici da ya hana yin zaben bayan da wasu yan banga suka sace masu zabe da kayan aiki har ma commissioner zaben jahar Kano ambassador Abdu Zango ke cewar zaben bai kammala ba an yi zabe lami lafiya a local government guda biyar cikin shida amma a kunci mu samu abin da ya kamata ba dan ta adda nufi sun zo sun watsa wannan zabe sun dauki ma'aikatan mu jami'an zabe da jami'an tsaro sun dauke su sun kwace kaya sun 
de hana ay abu to alhamdulillah mun je mun taho da duk mutanen mun taho da kayan mu kowa da lami lafiya kuma dadin da naji shine ita national headquarters ta wannan annex sun dauki tsatsauran mataki kuma sun sun yi suspend wannan zabe na kunci sai wani lokaci yan da ba ne dai suka sake kawo tarnaki ga wannan zabe kuma abu ne da za iya cewar sabo da yiwe gawa da gatsi ne to shin me yasa har yanzu amfani da yan da ba ke ci gaba da zama babban ginshiki a siyasar Najeriya Abu Bakar Ibrahim ya ce ai abu ne mai wuya matuka a ce an samu sauyi shekara 54 ban taba gani an yi siyasa ba dan daba ba ai shine shugaba ma komai shi zai fada bayan an ci mulki ne shi sai a kyale shi kawai ya ci gaba da dabar sa tu an gashi ka fada can an ci zaben barin sa ake yi baka ganin wannan zai sa su yi hankali su dena ai ba za su yi hankali ba saboda mummunan talauci dan abin da ake ba su na laso in lokacin zabe to shi ake mora saboda haka siyasar daba ba za a taba dena ta ba domin ta su ci ga alama da jam'iyyar NNPP mai mulki a Kano ita ce ta lashe kujerun da aka riga ya aka ayyana guda biyu kabir sai da ka tama goyen bayan jam'iyyar ne ya bayyana mana dalilan da kan sanya ko da yaushe idan aka yi zabe galiban a Najeriya jam'iyyar da ke kan mulki ce ta flashe zaben muwa nan jihar Kano wannan ai ba bakon abu bane tunda ai ita wannan tafiya ta konkusiya a baya ta taba shiga zabe wanda ta cinye duka kujeru ka so 1900 a jihar Plato ma dai rikici ya sa an soke zaben cike gurbin wannan dai yar manune ya ce da ke alamta yadda kullun zabe a Najeriya ke gaza tafiya ba tare da an samu rikici ba Nasir Salis Zango daga Kano Najeriya Tuan zira mana najer indah hukuman kulara enggan ceng abang cida magung guna tak asal nab dag tak ada mad daban cike. Kemana zargin sugoda aku ayam maga neng parasitamol najabu. Bio bayang wasro hutan ini dek nuna cewa an samu parasitamol neng daki ampani dek sih tak asal daba sih de enggan cie. Wakil mana jahar pelatu Abdullah Medha aku rukui ya dua mana mana lama di hingga hukuman hutan daya hukumana daga jos. Kwa da shike zuwa yanzu hukumar ta Nabdak bata tabbatar da sahihancin wa'annan rahotanni game da shigo da magungunan na paracetamol na jebu ba to amma yayin wata ganawa da manema labarai babban darautar hukumar ta Nabdak a Najeriya muji sola a deyoye tace sun kaddamar da sabbin gwaje-gwaje kan magungunan paracetamol da kamfanonin da sarrafa magunguna 13 dake tsakanin biranen Lagos da Abuja kuma ba su gano wa'annan magungunan na jebu ba da ake batu kai to domin sani irin matakai na zahiri da hukumomi a nan jihar Plato ke dauka daga nada wa'annan rahotanni na zan tara komishinan kewar lafiya na jihar Plato Dr. Cletus Shurko duka magungunan da zai zo da jihar Plato yana cewa dukkanin magunguna da za su shigo jihar Plato mun riga ya mun kebe wata cibiya da ke tattara da manyan stosto da a rika tara magunguna muna tantance su dukkanin asibitoci da cibiyoyin kewar lafiya da ake da su a nan jihar Plato da sai ka karbar magunguna ne ta hanyar wannan cibiya zo suna duba su shakuna da su sai da su magunguna to ko shin wasu hanyoyi jama'a da su gojan gano magungunan jebu na paracetamol da ake batu kai da Kasabo Ahmed Muhammad professor ne a sashen nazarin kewar lafiya a jami'ar JAS yayi karin bayani gane jabun magani na dan wahala amma tun daga yanayin siffar shi ma zaka gane magani mai kyau zaka shi mulmul yana da santsi sannan ko baya babbas garewa wani magani da kai shi kafin akai ko ina kana ta fara shi ma zaka ya fara marmashewa ko kuma ka sha maganin ka ji yaki na rikewa a cikin ka musamman ma da ka kawo misalin wannan jabun magani da ake kira paracetamol yawanci illan shi ya fi ga paracetamol na ruwa wato syrup amma ga kwayoyin paracetamol din ba mamaki ba za a samu damuwa sosai ba sai dai rashin inganci to ne dai har mashar hanta a Najeriya suka so matso kaci dangane da wannan lamari da haka mashar hanta irin su Ahmed da Rima suke bukatar ganin hukumomin Najeriya sun karfafa bincike game da gano sayin hancin wa'annan rahotanni da shigo da jibun magungunan paracetamol marasa inganci a kasar so abin da ya kamata hukumar nabda ta yi idan ta samu irin rahoto irin wannan gaskiya bincike ya kamata ta yi na kokop na kokop na keke da keke a tabbatar da cewa paracetamol din da muke yi sha a Najeriya kaman kamfani guda nawa ne suke yin shi sannan kuma sun yi rijista da su a dinga bibiya ana aunawa a lokaci bayan lokaci domin maganar nake maka cases da ake samu na kidney problem wato ciwon koda yana yawaita kuma yawanci irin shan gurba da tamma gungunan nan da ciwon hanta masana kiwon lafiya sukan cewa yana kawo shi to sai dai masana kiwon lafiya na sharatar al'umma su rika neman shawarin likitoci kafin amfani da magunguna musamman ma paracetamol Abdullahi mai dawo kurgwi daga Jos Najeriya to kada da ku shafa kuna tare da sashen Hausa na DW a cikin shirin safi kafin shirin ya dora ga wannan sanarwa 
ci gaba da gabatar da tarihin lamuran da suka faru a nahiyar Afirka. Muna tafi da bayane game da tasirin mulkin mallaka na Jamus a nahiyar. DW za ta gabatar da waiwaye kan mulkin mallakar Jamus a nahiyar Afirka. Sai a biyo mu a shirye-shiryen DW na radio a ranakun Alhamis da Lahadi. Za mu wallafa muku rahotanni da fayafayen bidiyo na waiwaye kan mulkin mallakar Jamus a shafin mu na internet. to madala sai aka sunce da mu domin jin shirye-shiryen da ma sauran kayatattun shirye-shirye da muke muku tanade yanzu kuma sai kasar Ghana inda aka kaddamar da wani shiri na gudanar da bincike kan na urar da za ta taimaka wajen aikin gwajin cutar kansar bakin maifa gama ta masu dauke da cuta mai kare garkuwar jiki wato HIV AIDS a wasu cibiyoyin kiwon lafiya guda shida na jihar Greater Accra Rabatu Abubakar Jawundo na da cigaban wannan rahoto Mata a kasashe masu karamin karfi wadanda aka bar su a baya wajen tantancewa hukumar lafiya ta duniya tana bada shawarar amfani da na'urar gwaji kai tsaye ta HPV don tantance cutar kansar mahaifa ta farko ta injinan jin aspect ana saran wannan aiki i save GH zai tantance ko za iya yin gwajin cutar mahaifar da maganin sa a rana daya wannan yana hana bukatar ziyara da yawa zuwa asibiti wanda ke iya komawa da hannu agogo baya a cewar professor George Boatin ce shugaban yan bincike a shirin ICFGH then if the HPV is positive then a nurse can idan aka tabbatar akwai alamar ciwon sankaron mahaifa to nurse za ta iya bin diddigi ta hanyar duba mahaifar don ganin ko akwai rauni sai ta yi maganin sa nan take idan babban rauni ne da ake bukata a kai shi ga likitan mata to za su hakan dan haka za a rage batun hasara sosai ana aiwatar da aikin tare da tallafi daga Expertise France a babban asibitin cibiyar Kolebu kananan asibitoci kamar a Wim Polyclinic da asibitin Gwamnati ta a Tuwa da St Martin's de Porres Maryam Mensa na daya daga cikin wadanda suka yi fama da cutar sankarun mahaifa amma yanzu haka ta samu waraka This is what I'm feeling then he asked me Are you Tace na kwanta da ciwo na tsawon lokaci amma aka rasa ciwo sai da wani likita ya bani shawarar yin gwajin mahaifa amma naki domin na san bani da wannan ciwo Kawuna wanda likita ne ya bukaci sanin ko ina amfani da tsarin kai yadda iyali wanda na tabbatar masa da hakan yasa aka gwada ni kuma aka hakan ya tabbata amma alhamdulillah yanzu na samu waraka this thing is almost like copper cutar sankarun mahaifa wacce ake samu ta hanyar jima'i idan tsarin garkuwar jiki bai kawar da kwayar cutar ba ya kan labe akan mahaifar har sai bayan shekaru da dama har sai lokacin da ya fara haifar da ciwon daji Hanya daya tilo don riga kafin cutar kansan mahaifa ita ce yi wa ɗan mata a lura riga kafi kafin su isa lokacin jima'i a halin yanzu ana samu a lura riga kafi amma a gana har yanzu bata fara shirin a lura riga kafi a duk fadin kasar ba ga wadanda suka haura shekaru 30 har yanzu ana iya hana ciwon dajin tare da yin gwaji gwaje akai akai a ƙarshen wannan aiki na shekaru biyu dai za a shirye takarda da zai zamo abin dogaro akai ga tsara shirin na kasa baki daya Rahamatu Abubakar Mahamu Jawandu DW Hausa Accra Ghana One company da ake lakabi da KK Park mallakar was yan kasar China na yaudarar mutane DW ta gudanar da wani binciken kokofa kan wannan company inda ta gano yadda ake ganawa ma'aikata da suka yi yaudarar da mafi akasari ake yin ta kafar internet azaba da hana su abinci har ma da kisa wannan kamfanin da ke kama da gidan yari ana tilasta dabban mutane su aikata manyan laifuka inda sanna hankali yake yaduwa a yankin Asia da Afirka da Turai har ma da arewacin Amurka Latifa Mustafa Jafar ta hada mana rahoto kan wannan mutu Majalisar dinkin duniya ta kiyasta cewa sama da mutane dubu dari ne aka tilasta musu yin aiki a cibiyoyin da ake yaudarar mutane a kasar Myanmar ko kuma Bama Aaron na daga cikin wadanda suka tsinci kansu a kamfanin na KK Park kuma a lokacin da ya samu aiki yayi matukar farin ciki wani kamfanin kere-kerean fasaha a Thailand ya dauke shi aikin da za a rinka biyan sa albashi mai tsoka ba ga damar barin kasar sa dake gudancin Afirka sai dai kash mafarkin Aaron bai cika ba I was hoping to go ina fatan fita kasar waje yin aiki rana guda kwatsam aka tinkare ni da cewa na samu aiki na dauka komai gaskiya ne har sai da na isa Bangkok tukuna until i got to bangkok 
yayin da ya sauka a jirgi an masa tarbar ban girma aka dauke su shi da wasu matasa daga yankin tsakiyar Afirka guda biya cikin mota sai dai falamarin ya so ya domin maimakon tafiyar dakila ba ta fi ta mintuna goma zuwa otal din da za su sauka ba sun yi tafiyar kimanin sawi takwas kafin su isa wani gari da ke kai iyakar Thailand da kuma kasar Bama ko Myanmar da rikici ya daidaita sun iske mutane